Salaf Lab is a key national infrastructure for life sciences in Sweden. We run 4,000 research projects per year and we ensure that the Swedish community has access to the best life science infrastructures available. We maintain multiple technology platforms under one umbrella. This enables us to comprehensively evaluate what technologies are appropriate and update them as needed. The role of the Silaf Lab platforms is to provide affordable, cutting-edge technology to all science groups in Sweden, everything from basic science to clinical science. Silaf Lab is operated by the four host universities, KTH Royal Institute of Technology, Stockholm University, Karolinska Institute and Uppsala University. In addition, we maintain collaborations across all major Swedish universities. My facility is doing large-scale screening to find new biomarkers that can be used to diagnose disease, but also how to find out how people respond to treatment and how to treat different diseases. I think it's very inspiring that SciLife Lab exists, knowing that we have a national center that gathers the instrumentation and, and know-how that allows us to meet and address questions on a global scale. Our research project is about microbial oceanography, studying which bacteria are in the oceans and what do they actually do. So for this we need and use the platforms at SciLife Lab. I've been using SciLife Lab for a number of different projects, everything from proteomics to genotyping and sequencing efforts. We've been working on a number of issues regarding aging, about why one twin gets a disease and the other one doesn't, and we've been able to use SciLife Lab facilities to do this. What's special about SciLife Lab is that it has such a broad palette of both expertise as well as services available. I think it's important to highlight that uh, SciLife Lab offers this really uh, massive uh, infrastructure for molecular biology analysis and that this is made available to researchers in Sweden and elsewhere. Well, the greatest achievement of SciLife Lab is to bring uh, together a community of more than 1,000 researchers to develop technologies and infrastructures and to carry out research across the whole nation. SciLife Lab has a major focus on educational activities. So we run many courses in each year. We run major symposia that bring the research community together. And the idea is really to broadly impact on the knowledge base of scientists in Sweden about technologies and how they could make use of them in their research. We chose to use SciLife Lab because it has the most complete palette of services as well as collaborative possibilities available. It would have been much more difficult for us uh, to do the kind of research if SciLife Lab hadn't existed. We would have had to do many more things in-house uh, and or go abroad, for example. We have a number of exciting new plans underway for SciLife Lab. One is that we are bringing new technologies as part of the technology umbrella. We are changing the organizational structure a little bit. To reflect that, we are putting emphasis on translational platforms for diagnostics and, and drug discovery applications. We are uh, emphasizing bioinformatics and data management uh, better. And we try to reach out to the community of industrial users in a, in a better way. My first advice to researchers who have not heard about SciLife Lab is to actually ask someone they know that has used the services at SciLife Lab. Secondly, to actually contact SciLife Lab to directly ask the staff because you get very good answers to your questions. And third, to check the webpage to see what the scale and possibilities of analysis are. <laughs>